Thanks for watching our video today. And as you already noticed that in every video we try to show you some tool or devices or like some working stations that help you in your restoration. It's definitely help you in productivity, accuracy, uh, and work comfortable. A lot of procedures in a restoration. Uh, you can, of course, separate them on important or not important. Of course, they're all important because the final product uh, is going to be combined product and you have to be accurate on every procedure. But one of them is very, very just important. is a boring pin block that we do it uh, when we replace the pin blocks. And, uh, of course, there are certain issues how to do it. We know that we have to use some angles, but besides uh, these uh, angles, uh, we have to understand why we have to do certain just uh, things. Uh, I want to show you that the nature of position of the pin is that the string attached through the coils and uh, pull the pin from the right side. Of course, uh, it pulls forward, that's why we want to just keep it uh, angle on the back. But beside this, we like it to have the uh, left angle too, then to balance uh, all these forces. In order to do this, you need a tool, you need a good uh, tool. Uh, and uh, of course, you can do it on your drill press, but it takes you a long time and maybe not so accurate. That's why like a long time ago, I don't know, maybe 15 years ago, I designed this tool and uh, I just want to show you how it works. First of all, uh, in order to be comfortable, you have to use the radial press because the radial press gives you a lot of space. You can put, uh, in our case, uh, the table here that uh, moves uh, back and forth, you see, uh, easily on the hinges. Uh, beside this, the actually top of this uh, tool it's rotate on this point, this one point. It's, it can be uh, turned to the, some degrees here. It's a massive table. You see, it's on the, two, uh, on the four hinges it goes. Beside this, of course, we have uh, um, a linear uh, calculators of angle. It's a little complicated to transfer radial motion to the linear motion. As, uh, as you see, now it's in a, in a zero, and uh, I, can, I can start it. You see, it's two degrees. You see, uh, our uh, bed is just moving in the radio. But you see, it's a five degrees already, and we can make it seven and a half degrees. That's what we need for, like that, you see? It's, it's get to seven and a half degree. And uh, after that, we, uh, we lock it from, from both sides to be sure this is a stable. Uh, on, uh, on this uh, uh, device, you see it's attached to, uh, to our radial press and we can change by uh, rotating this knob, we can change the as the uh, position of the drill press, you see, is going uh, square. And this is a square. Now, if I want to drill like uh, in this position, it's a zero degree, it goes square to the pin block. And of course, uh, I want to, it's two degrees. Like I, we already talked about this, I make this adjustment. I put two degrees and lock it, because there's going to be some vibrations. And as you see here, uh, I got a handle and I can move the whole table back and forth. And uh, the radial press itself can be moved left and right to accommodate, like we told, this uh, angle. And uh, of course, you, you got the rolls, uh, you got this uh, main clamp for, for the pin block. We have here the handle that you operate, move it uh, uh, back and forth, and uh, this circle that you can move uh, the pin block left and right. Uh, in order uh, to get to any desired position, and I want to show you 
uh, the actual pin block and uh, it's already marked uh, with the position as you see it's a uh, it's model a3 and uh, this is already our just like holes supposed to be done that's uh, the places uh, we just installed the pin block like that and we have uh, two clamps here one here and one here basically we are ready uh, we just want to put a uh, pin block on a position here and now as you see i can get to any any uh, place i want by sliding you see so you operate with your left hand you move it in this direction and you move it in this direction it's very comfortable here is going to be our handle for the drill press now as you see we already set we set the angle on a seven and a half degrees here uh, it's uh, uh, the Stanway angle this might be variable but generally it's a seven and a half and we set for uh, this is our treble section we set two degrees uh, on the left as you see it's uh, two degrees on the left and uh, of course I just highly recommend you to uh, use uh, the high speed. Uh, it's a special drill bit, and uh, the speed is uh, like maybe 2,500. And of course, uh, when you work like with the two over 200, uh, 30 um, holes, you need a good light. In our case, I use four lights. It's a nice. Uh, light here just to eliminate uh, eliminate the sh uh, shades so that you can work comfortable of course here uh, we got a flow of air it's a valve here that you can hear now it's a blow blow the battery right like this out and uh, and we are in, the, in position the nice handles that is very comfortable to work with and we are ready to uh, bore a pin block. Uh, it's just a matter to turn the switch on and we can start to do it. If you uh, just like have a couple minutes, you can see how it works. you're still in the control of this uh, process but the way how you uh, calculate everything how you use of course the uh, special bit for this in order to make the centers of your hole but it's enable you to go exactly in uh, in the middle and uh, that's what makes a big difference if you uh, do it very consistent uh, you get a really, really good quality of uh, pin block and later on, the, of course, it's whole, the tune, it's a very, just like, nice, uh, nice work. Uh, anyway, uh, as you see, uh, it's a new kind of uh, complicated tools, but in reality, in reality, as you see, it's, uh, I use the regular hinges, right, four of them. Uh, it's a it's a pin block material, right? I, I use it like a table. We got the rolls that you can get in any way. Uh, here it's a gear that you can you can just get it and make it so using this aluminum and of course radial press. Uh, new handles you can make whatever you like. Uh, uh, all the rest, um, yeah, it's just basically. Uh, Pretty simple. The multiplication of the uh, degrees here is just you can uh, create this uh, thing pretty easy, and then just calibrate it. And similar here too. 
Uh, that's why we definitely wish you to have this tool because I have to admit that it's increased your productivity probably five, six times. And the accuracy just maybe, I don't know, just like it's, it's uh, obviously you can achieve the goal on these things. Uh, that's why we just really appreciate you for watching it and maybe you get a lot of positive things from uh, this video. Thanks a lot and we'll see you next time.